Hey everybody! I wanted to go over the new product for um, two pairs today that's called Sweet Caroline. It's both a 4x8 accordion book that you can get at Miller's or Impix Pro and the other one is a little mini wallet one that's a calendar. Um, so just wanted to quickly go through them with you and show you how to use them. Um, you know, you're going to see the preview um, of um, the file that will have um, sample pictures in it and these are from Little Bell Photography. She's just amazingly talented um, and I love working with her images on some of our products. Um, but the files that you're going to get for this are going to be the templates for, like I said, Miller's or Impix Pro. Um, you may be able to modify them for some other things. Just depends. Um, so when I order my 4x8 accordion books from Miller's, I like to order metallic covers with pearl pages inside. I just think they're absolutely stunning. And I always leave the inside page blank. That's that inside fold from the cover there. But basically when you open up the files, you're going to see the guidelines already pulled from Miller's and Impix Pro and you're going to see a lot of layers. And I do my best to name all of my layers for you so you can easily go in and uh, make changes. Um, let's see, um, some of the fonts I've got listed here are Mesquite Standard and, um, I, gosh, what is the other one called? Hello, hold on one second. Um, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> something, something. Anyways, it's written down in the files for you so you can go find them if you need to. Both of them are free. Um, and the cool thing is about all these files is that you can go in and, and delete and change and everything. So, for instance, I have this color background as a coral color. If I wanted to, I could go in and fill it with, I don't know, not white. Um, let's, let's pick a color. Let's just choose red. Let's choose, no, let's do something different. Let's do a brown. I could come in and fill it with um, um, that color so that it takes on a different color. So you can actually make these different. The only thing you can't change the colors easily on are the buttons. And I have created drop shadows on them, so my recommendation, if you don't like that color, is just hide the actual layer. Um, but you can go in and type over the fonts um, and change the colors. You can even change the colors of these fun patterns here. Um, so I have I have the wood grain here for you. I have the Moroccan diamond, etc. Um, and the inside pages, you know, are just like this. Uh, the cool thing is, and I want to show you based on my samples here, is that. Um, the files have what we call clipping masks, and um, the layers allow you. Oh, the layers allow you to easily put your images inside um, the actual blocks here. So, as you can see, you're going to get the file with the black, and the black is going to indicate where your image should be. So it's really simple to do. There's a couple ways you can do it. Under um, the layer file up here, you can do um, what we call a clipping mask. You're basically going to drag the, the photo on top of where that photo mask is here. You want it to be right above it. And then you can do it the long way, which is come up under under layer, create clipping mask, and it's going to clip to that layer. There's also shortcuts you can use, which I'm not going to talk about because you can figure that out later. Let's just go through the actual menu file itself. Um, but you'll do that for everything. And then the next step you'll do is come up under Edit, Transform, and Scale. And you can, you can go ahead and, and scale your image. Um, you can, in these over here, you can go ahead and go to Edit, Transform, Rotate, and start rotating the file so it fits within um, the actual um, space holder that it needs to go in. And then when you're all done, you just layer, you just flatten them and save them. Um, so that's the cool thing about uh, these files. The calendar is, like I said, it's a, um, an accordion calendar. And again, the, the, layer, the layers are the same way in the front and the backs of the covers. You can go in and make changes as needed. And then the inside are your calendars. Now, unfortunately, you can't go in and type over the calendar because I actually um, wrote those, or I actually did those in another file and just brought them, as, brought them in for you. So basically what you would have to do if you wanted to change the colors is um, you could go in and double click the actual layer, click on color layers or color overlay, and then you could pick colors and as you can kind of see, it's starting to change colors for you there. So that's how you would change those. So this one's not as adjustable as the other ones, but you can go in and change the colors at least. And then you would do the same thing with the images. You're going to drag and drop them across there. Um, as you can see in the file here, just little simple images. And these make great gifts.
you, usually you purchase them in packs of three and then give one away, keep one, whatever you'd like to do with it. It's a great referral gift um, or things, or a gift for the purchase or when they reach something or something to say thank you. So those are the two new products, really simple and easy to use. Like I said, customizable as far as the colors go on most of them. Um, but I invite you to come in and get those today. They are 50% off. That's launch day, which is what? We're the, 20, the 24th. Um, so each of them are 50% off today only. And then tomorrow they go back to full price. All right, talk to you later.